There has never been a shortage of questions surrounding COVID-19 vaccinations and now boosters. And newly released guidance from the CDC saying vaccinated people should wear masks and that they can transmit the virus to the unvaxxed has certainly raised some more questions. So anchor Rudy Williams, he has some answers for us tonight. Well, there's no lack of misinformation about COVID on social media, so we dug into some of your questions to get you facts. First off, are vaccines strong enough to protect you from the more transmissible Delta variant? Many were confused when the CDC announced last week vaccinated people should wear masks because they can transmit the virus to others. Infectious disease doctor Manoj Jain says your best protection against grave illness from COVID remains vaccination. White House medical advisor Dr. Anthony Fauci on ABC's This Week explained it this way. From the standpoint of illness, hospitalization, suffering, and death, the unvaccinated are much more vulnerable because the vaccinated are protected from severe illness for the most part. By for the most part, doctors are reporting that most severe hospitalizations are people who are not vaccinated. Many of you ask if vaccines weaken over time. Well, Pfizer says that from its peak protection of 96% after person's second dose, after six months, that diminishes to 86%, yet remains strong. So this is where boosters come into the discussion and whether they are available in the U.S. For the answer, we turn to Dr. John Brownstein of Boston Children's Hospital. He says boosters are not yet available in the U.S., although Germany and Israel are now distributing the third shot to vulnerable citizens. The U.K. is considering the same measures. Then who should get the booster? Dr. Jane says as soon as boosters are available in the U.S., people who are immune compromised should be the first in line. Health leaders say that we can expect some word on when boosters will be available in the U.S. around September. I'm Rudy Williams.